Azab is a familiar word among Muslims. Most translations of the Quran and missionaries define this word as torture or punishment. But that is very harsh and destructive. Let's take a look at the lexicons. Azab is derived from the root azaba, and azaba means pleasant. It is always a pleasure or a pleasant situation which leads to health and well-being. This kind of joy and pleasure also leads to a heightened consciousness and self-awareness. Literally, azab means unpleasant. Contrary to public belief that azab means torture or pain, this word means loss of pleasantness and joyfulness due to loss of your ability to enjoy. It is like when you lose your sense of taste and smell. You lose the ability to enjoy delicious foods and drinks, and you'll be deprived of that joy. This deprivation certainly brings you suffering, pain, and many unpleasant feelings. However, the suffering is not due to torture. In fact, it is lack of pleasure. A person who loses his sight because of his old age will certainly suffer loss because he is now deprived of a joyful experience that he has had throughout his life. This pain and suffering is because he has lost the ability to enjoy. According to the Quran, some behaviors cause disorders in the body, spirit, and life events that destroy pleasures and healthiness. This behavior can be an idea, a belief, or even a statement. Have you ever encountered people who make their lives pleasureless just because of a belief or an idea? Who tortures them? Do they live happily and joyfully? Who has removed happiness from their lives? Definitely. Deceitful religious leaders have a significant role in shaping these beliefs, but personal fears also play a role in acquiring these beliefs. Fear of investigating the claims of religious leaders. Attributing false holiness to some beliefs and religious leaders without any research or investigation, and just by believing their false statements. Believing that religious leaders have a connection to God just by being exposed to their deceitful statements. These are some faulty beliefs that lead to azab, or loss of pleasure. According to the Quran in verse 3 of Surah Al-Ma'idah, God has chosen being healthy as your religion. And at verse 85 of Surah Al-Mran said, Whoever chooses a belief other than that of health will face azab, because he will lose his health and will be entrapped in superstitions and the beliefs that religious bandits generate to fool him. In the Quran, the word of azab is often associated with the words alim, azim, and nar. Alim means painful, and azim means tremendous or huge. Nar means fire. Azab al-nar means pleasure, comfort, and health go away to the extent that it feels like a burning pain of fire. In fact, in the Quran's perspective, azab is not punishment or torture, and God does not punish or torture anyone. Instead, azab is the result of unhealthful behaviors or actions which lead to the elimination of happiness, joy, and pleasure of life in this world and the next. Why are the key words of the religion of God not translated correctly? Who is in favor of this distortion? In fact, distortion is impossible in the Quran itself. These are the translations that have deviated from this divine miracle. By subscribing to our websites and channels, help us to spread peace and health in the world and stop religious abuses.